The internals of the glide caching mechanism. Glide cache is divided into memory cache and disk cache. The memory cache is composed of weak references and the LRU cache. The image resources that Glide needs to cache are divided into two categories. The original picture, which is the original size and resolution of the picture source, and the converted picture, which is the picture after size scaling and size compression. When using Glide to load pictures, Glide compresses and converts the pictures according to the view by default and does not display the original pictures. The access to the cache is in the engine class. The main function of memory cache is to prevent applications from repeatedly reading image data to memory. The main function of the disk cache is to prevent applications from repeatedly downloading and reading data from the network or other places. Understanding Glide Cache Key Caching is to solve the problem of repeated loading, so there must be a key to distinguish different image resources. From the code that generates the key below, we can see that the way Glide generates the key is complicated. There are many parameters that determine the cache key, including the model, signature, width, height, transformations, resource class, transcode class, and options. We can assume that for almost any configuration change, it will cause multiple cache keys to be generated for the same picture. For example, loading the same image into multiple image views of different sizes will generate two cached images. Understanding the Glide Memory Cache Glide enables the memory cache by default. The following memory caching method can only be used when the memory is turned on. You can skip the memory cache by doing skip memory cache true. The memory cache is composed of weak references and the LRU cache. The memory cache code is implemented in engine load class. This is the same class where cache key is generated. Glide divides the memory cache into two parts. One uses the LRU cache algorithm mechanism, the other uses the weak reference mechanism. When the memory cache is obtained, it will be cached from the above two areas through two methods. Load from cache, which gets the cache from the memory cache using the LRU cache algorithm mechanism, or load from active resources, which gets the cache from the memory cache using the weak reference mechanism. If the cached picture is not obtained by the above two methods, that is, there is no cache for the picture in the memory cache, a new thread is started to load the picture. If you are wondering what LRU algorithm and weak reference is, the principle of the LRU cache algorithm, store the most recently used objects in the linked hash map by means of strong references. When the cache is full, remove the least recently used objects from the memory. Weak references, weakly referenced objects have a shorter life cycle because when the JVM performs garbage collection, once a weakly reference object is found, it will be recycled, regardless of whether the memory is sufficient. The pictures that are in use are cached by weak references, and the pictures that are not in use are cached by LRU cache. This is achieved through the picture reference counter, acquired variable, engine resource acquire. This acquired variable is used to record the number of times the picture is referenced. Calling the acquire method will increase the variable by 1, and calling the release method will decrease the variable by 1. The cache write is after the image is loaded. Taking a look at engine load method again. There are two key objects here, engine job and decode job. Engine job which maintain a thread pool internally to manage resource loading and notify callbacks when resources are loaded. Decode job is a class responsible for decoding resources either from cached data or from the original source and applying transformations and transcodes. 
The weakly referenced cache will be cleaned up when the memory is insufficient, while the memory cache based on LRU cache is strongly referenced, so it will not be cleaned up due to memory reasons. LRU cache will clear out the least recently used cached data only when the cached data reaches the upper limit of the cache space. The implementation mechanisms of the two caches are based on hash tables, but LRU cache maintains a linked list in addition to the hash table data structure. The cache key of weak reference type is the same as LRU cache, but the value is of weak reference type. In addition to being released when the memory is insufficient, the weak reference type cache will also be cleaned up when the engine's resources are released. The cache based on weak references always exists and cannot be disabled by the user, but the user can turn off the cache based on LRU cache. In essence, weak reference based caching and LRU cache based caching are for different application scenarios. Weak reference caching is a type of cache, but this kind is more affected by available memory than LRU cache. When reading the memory cache, it first reads from the memory cache of the LRU cache algorithm mechanism, and then reads from the memory cache of the weak reference mechanism. When writing to the memory cache, first write to the memory cache of the weak reference mechanism, and then write to the memory cache of the LRU cache algorithm mechanism when the first picture is no longer used. Understanding Glide Disk Cache Glide 5 Disk Cache Strategy Disk Cache Strategy Data Only cache the original picture Disk Cache Strategy Resource Only cache the converted pictures Disk Cache Strategy All Cache both the original picture and the converted picture For remote pictures, cache data and resource For local pictures, Cache only resource. Disk cache strategy automatic. Default strategy try to use the best strategy for local and remote pictures. When downloading network pictures, use data. For local pictures, use resource. Disk cache strategy none. Do not cache any content. Glide cache is divided into weak reference. LRU cache and disk LRU cache. The order of reading data is weak reference, LRU cache, disk LRU cache, and network. The order of writing cache is network, disk LRU cache, LRU cache, and weak reference. Disk caching is implemented through disk LRU cache and the different types of cached pictures can be obtained according to different caching strategies. Its logic is, first fetch from the converted cache. If it is not available, then get the data from the original unconverted cache. If that is not possible, then load the image data from the network. Hello, my name is Peachy and I was the narrator for this video. I make gaming videos, so if you'd like to hear more of me, click the link leading to my YouTube channel. Fair warning, nothing there is family friendly. <laughs> and right before we end this video, I just want to introduce myself. I'm Code Palace, and I'm a native Android developer. I make plenty of tutorials on YouTube on how to develop applications for Android. And you can definitely find out more at youtube.com slash Code Palace. See you guys there.